Hi, I'm James from the Sharelingo Project, and I'm uh, in Medellin, Colombia. I'm using a selfie stick, which more than anything makes me just feel self-conscious. Uh, but I wanted to tell you a little story. Um, in Medellin, they have an excellent system of taxis and even Ubers. And uh, sometimes, most times, when I'm trying to get from one place to another, it's just uh, so much easier to take a taxi or an Uber because I'm in a hurry or whatever, like usual. But whenever I can, I try and take a bus, um, no matter what country I'm in, whether that's Italy or uh, even the United States sometimes I take a bus just because I want to meet people and see people. And uh, I did that here in Medellin when I arrived. Uh, one of the things I did is walk from my apartment up and found a local bus stop. It happens to be outside a church, the church that I go to. Um, and I met somebody at the bus stop. And so today I want to introduce you to her and uh, just watch what happens. So back in just a minute. Okay, I'm uh, just arriving at the bus stop now. And so I want to uh, just introduce you to somebody here. So, buenos días. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están todos? ¿Todo bien? Excelente. ¿Cómo están? Excelente. Para mis amigos en Estados Unidos, para mostrar que somos amigos y que puede conectar con otra gente en otro país. Por favor, presente. Hola. Eh, mi nombre es Juan Darío, los esperamos por aquí en Colombia para conocerlos. Excelente, ¿y? Hola, yo me llamo Lina, igual, bienvenidos a mi país. Gracias por todo. So, we, um, we have kind of become friends. I just come to the bus stop here when I want to go into Poblado or someplace else. And we have started practicing uh, English and Spanish together. So, um, empecé a practicar inglés y español. Okay, so one of the things that Lena has done is uh, she knows that I'm going to be coming by here every once in a while, so she makes notes in her notebook, right? Okay. Yo quiero saber si voy a pedir estoy en Estados Unidos y quiero que me traigan un servicio de Entonces, ¿dónde va este? Sí. Where? Where, see? where does where does this bus go? Good job. Okay. Which bus? Cuál bus? Which? So what she's asking, and she had to explain to me what yellow is. Okay, it's like metal. Uh, because I didn't understand, but now I do. Right. So she's asking. How can I go to an amusement park, right? With a uh, roller coaster. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. 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 C. So, see, roller coaster. Montaña rusa. Roller coaster. Yes, perfect. Okay, thank you everybody. I wanted to show you that and my friends here in Colombia and uh, more soon. Ciao. Bye bye. Señor. Okay, I'm walking back to the apartment now. Maybe a uh, noisy bus stop is not the ideal setting to have a little get together with your practice partner, but it worked in spite of that. And I think that's amazing. Uh, that's really not what this story is about, is, is what is the ideal way to practice. I mean, we're gonna start touching on that tomorrow. Today was about how you connect with somebody that wants to practice with you. 
And that's the real story behind today's video, is that they're out there. Really, really nice people are out there. Here in Colombia, they're out there, but also in the United States, they're out there. There are people that want to learn English. And if you let it be known that you're ready to help them with English, why? Because you want to learn Spanish, that opens the door. It builds confidence. Now, the most powerful aspect of this is seeing people uh, on a regular basis. That's just part of our human nature, our psychology, uh, part of our social structure is that people we see on a regular basis are the people we start to trust more. So if you're in a setting like a school or an office where you do see people and you can nod your head, um, remember that your most powerful uh, breaking the ice thing is your smile. Hello, I'm James. I'm learning Spanish. Estoy aprendiendo español. Um, do that. Let it be known that you want to practice Spanish. That helps build the confidence and uh, you're not really saying, do you want to practice Spanish with me? You're just saying, I want to find a partner. And that changes everything. I hope this video helps you today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to talk about how to get the most out of your time with your partner. But today it's about getting out there with that piece of paper, with that worksheet, so that you can let the world know that you're ready to practice and then they're gonna to come to you and say, I would like to practice with you. Take care, have a great day. I'm James.